Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is going to be covering how to send us files. We've gone through GarageBand, we've gone through Ecamm, and this is if you are recording with an external recorder. Uh, so like the Zoom H4n is one of the standard ones and the one that we recommend. So whenever you're recording with a mobile recorder, uh, things are going to be saved on an SD card. Um, once you're done recording, and we'll cover the setup and how to record and how to save uh, things to the card in a different video, but once you're done with that, uh, so just take the card out of your recorder and then insert that into your Mac Air, MacBook Pro, whatever you have. And then you're going to see it pop up and it will be labeled something differently based on what type of recorder you have. So if you, uh, I'm in my finder window right now. So at the very bottom, I can see my devices, my thumb drive. And then here is the SD card called Canon. So based on how you recorded, uh, there's a few different ways. The standard one is going to be stereo. You're going to have things saved here in three different folders on the SD card. So let's open the stereo folder and then you're gonna see a bunch of subfolders here. And usually all you have to look at is subfolder one because when you record, unless you specify uh, a different spot on the H4 device, it's always going to put it here in folder one. So we have four different files here. All you need to do is look, um, if you're doing it one at a time, basically what I would recommend is, is recording, taking all the files off the SD card, making sure you have them backed up on your computer. And then once you go back to the H4, you can format the, the SD card. So it will go back to a blank. And then you only have to deal with one or two files at a time. So just locate the file. They're not going to be uh, labeled anything particularly uh, easy to reference. They are going to be labeled after the date that it was recorded. And then with a sub dash zero dash one dash two dash three, et cetera. So this was, uh, this is an old SD card. So November 3rd, 2012. And then we have four files. So anyways, uh, grab whichever ones that you need. First of all, you want to um, drag these off of the SD card and onto your computer. Because remember, you always want to keep a backup. So this is one gig. It might take a minute. Let me just drag one file as an example. Because I don't want to take too much of your time here. So, and these are full quality WAV files, so they are going to be pretty big. So if you've done a long recording, it might take a while for these to copy. But always keep it back up on your computer. And then here is the, the dot .wav that we just saved. Copy that, and then navigate to your Dropbox folder or whatever way you're sending us files. Uh, if you're syncing with Dropbox, make sure you copy. And we'll just open one of these here and then paste the WAV file into this. And then we can go over the... Uh, structuring, make sure you're labeling things correctly in a different video. So that is for using mobile recorders, how to save and get your files off of the SD cards. Thanks.